Like I said, back with another one, man. Another request. I really don't fuck with requests. I like to do reviews on what I wanted to review, but I think, you know, I've been doing that, but I got one more that I'm going to review. But Future with uh, Monster, I know this shit kind of old. You dig? That's why I didn't really want to fuck with it. Uh, 16 tracks. Only feature on here is Lil Wayne. Um, basically, Metro Boom produced the whole joint, and I think this who Future should fuck with if he do another album, you know, in my personal opinion, because the beats is banging. Uh, sonically, it's, it's great. You know what I mean? Um, some of the songs was whatever and some of them was cool like the abu's booming skit i didn't like that throwaway number six i didn't like that number uh 13 wesley presley that song was okay it got to grow on me but every other song was dope the intro is basically a bunch of clips of him you know from interviews and you know things of that nature as far as the hot 97 shit and you know back when a lot of controversy was happening with Future, so I thought that was dope to actually put that in there. Then it goes into Radical, which is, I listened to that shit twice, and I was like, damn, this song is pretty dope, you know what I mean? I, I was fucking with it. Then you had Monster, which I had heard the song, heard of it, and then a video for it, and it's basically a street record, you know, the beat was crazy on that joint, you know what I'm saying? Even though Metro did all the um, beats, but it shows his... He's creative enough to know Future, and so that's why I fuck with that record. Uh, of course, number four... I didn't fuck with it, that little skit. Uh, fuck up some commas. He definitely showed his ass on that record. I will say that. I fuck with that. Uh, Throwaway, I didn't fuck with that. After that, uh, featuring Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne killed that verse. Like, why can't we get that type of Lil Wayne? You know, him and Future have a, a great connection. I don't know what it is, but when they're in the booth, certain artists bring the best out of Lil Wayne. And I think what Lil Wayne needs for the Carter Five, he needs some Metro booming beats because he definitely spoke some real shit on that verse. It was not a horrible verse. I'm like, God damn, that's one of the better verses that we heard from Lil Wayne this year, in my personal opinion. My Savages, he spoke on a lot of topics on that record. You know, with this mixtape, he actually was kind of deep in a way. It wasn't really the club type, you know, lean sipping, drug talk type future. Like, he actually had some content in his music and I was kind of shocked at that so you definitely got to listen for it he actually has content in the music my savages is, is basically one of them in my opinion Tupac the beat was hard I thought the hook was okay but I don't know about referencing the legendary Tupac and a hook like that I, I just didn't understand that like I don't think rappers should do that period unless you pay homage in a good way that's just my personal belief gangland another good one uh Fetty another good one Hartley um, he rapped about some real shit yet again on that record. And it's like, damn, like, nigga, if you actually got some stories to tell, nigga, you need to really do those type of records instead of bullshit that you put out here and there, you know what I mean? Because he do, like, his last album was fucking dope, in my personal opinion. Shocked the fuck out of me. Uh, like I said, 13, I think that song was okay, got to grow on me. Showed up, number 14, I didn't like it. Uh, Mad Love. I fuck with it in the last track, Cody and Crazy, because y'all know niggas be out there Cody and Crazy. You know, I fuck with it, but I get this shit an 8 out of 10. Um, I fuck with 13 out of the 16 records. The Beats, they get an 8.5 out of 10. Metro Boomin definitely produced this joint, and they went in there and did their thing on it. We have been seeing that this motherfucker was supposed to come out, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, Future did his thing on it. You know, uh, it was a fucking request, so, you know, I hope y'all enjoy it, you know, um... I can't say I'm the biggest Future fan because him, the Migos, Soldier Boy, Chief Keep, all the niggas sound the same, you feel me? But I, I guess you could say Future kind of originated that style, I guess, you know, for the person that hit mainstream first with it, you dig what I mean? But of course people debate, is it Future, uh, is it Rich Homie Quan, is it Migos, who really cares at the end of the day, long if it's good music that we can enjoy, that's all that matters, so one.